Hello and welcome to the People's Simmons Check and Simmons Package Update <coughs> as of November 23rd, 2020. I will say we got some interesting news for you and we're going to talk about McConnell, we're talking about Mnuchin, we're talking about Trump, but we're not going to mention about Nancy Pelosi because there's nothing new about her yet. Tomorrow there might be or the next day there might be. I don't know yet. We'll find out. But regarding your second stimulus check and your stimulus package, Steve Mnuchin has recouped the $455 billion from the Federal Reserve Bank. And the Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell wants to use this money to basically put in towards the next stimulus package. Oh, and of course, we also know that now the Senate is on a one-week vacation for Thanksgiving. Yeah, that's right. A one-week paid vacation for Thanksgiving. Instead of saying, I don't know, flying back home to celebrate Thanksgiving on the day before and then return to work on the day after like everyone else has to do, they're taking a whole week off and getting paid for it. I think this is a bunch of crap because they should not be getting all these vacations paid for by our dollar. That is a bunch of crap. Let's see here. Heidi Shireberger, Shire Holds, <laughs> sorry, from the Economic uh, Policy Institute says that a $3.4 uh, $3 trillion stimulus package is possible if the Democrats win the Georgia race for the Senate in on January 5th. In this way, they will be able to control the Senate, the House, and the presidency, and basically they could pass the $3.4 trillion stimulus package. Basically, Trump currently Trump has lost 34 of his legal cases challenging the electoral votes. More Republicans are speaking out about President Trump, basically saying that he should accept the the, the election results and begin the transition of power. President Trump is requesting another recount in Georgia. Yeah, he wants another recount in Georgia. Isn't that nice of him? I mean, he did a recount, I think it was in Indiana or Illinois or something like that, where he wanted to do the whole state. It would have cost him $7.5 trillion. So he just, I believe he did one or two counties, which cost him $3 million to do the full recount. And basically, as far as COVID-19 goes, the vaccine, there's a lot of money in the vaccine. Moderna says that they will be uh, charging the government as high as $37 a dose per person, and each person must get two doses to make sure the um, vaccine is effective. The $455 billion from the um, previous stimulus package could go towards the next stimulus package. And after meeting with M Mnuchin, McConnell wants to use those funds towards a different stimulus package, which could help the Republicans and Democrats come closer to a compromise. However, analysts say politicians that they are basically delaying the stimulus packages until after the uh, January 5th elections to see who can gain control of the Senate, whether it'll be the Democrats or the Republicans, which we held on January 5th. So I hope you guys basically vote Democrat so the people can get help that they need because otherwise this Republican you know we're going to get a skinny bill which basically Nancy Pelosi uh, oh, what's her name Nancy Pelosi will not like <laughs> I can't see the Democrats because Nancy Pelosi is the leader of the Democrats in the house and she has all the power basically Heidi Schreierhold says that if the Democrats win the Senate we're going to get a massive stimulus package if Democrats were in control of the Congress, they could pass a $3.4 trillion HEROES Act passed, that was passed back in May of this year. Goldman Sachs predicts that as long as the stalemate continues, that the cost of the stimulus package will shrink. The AOC is cutting down McConnell for um, basically granting a recess before a stimulus package was passed. So they're not happy that McConnell passed a did a recess before they passed the stimulus package, which I don't blame them because there's a lot of people out there that need the help. I mean, there are a lot of people. 
I mean, we're looking at 30 million plus people about to lose their homes at the end of this year because that's when the eviction ban from the um, CDC, I believe, expires. And when it comes to political news, uh, more Republicans are speaking out, uh, speaking against President Trump and saying that he should basically concede. So far, there are five Republican senators that have basically congratulated Joe Biden on his, his win and his presidency. And let's see here. Pat Toomes says that Trump should accept the outcome of their elections and allow for a transition of power, where Senator Kevin Kramer says that Trump has a legal right to challenge the votes through the legal process. Trump is demanding a new recount in Georgia. And the reason being is because their state law says that if someone wins the presidency by half a percent or less, that they can request a do a, a recount. So this will basically be the second recount of the votes in Georgia. Thanks to President Trump. And regarding the COVID, the, sorry, <laughs> regarding the COVID nineteen front, um, if AstraZeneca has released their vaccine results and their vaccine is ninety percent effective and is is lower than which is lower than Pfizer's and Moderna's. And they will be able to, and basically AstraZeneca will be able to ramp up their production faster than Pfizer and Moderna because their vaccine can be stored in a fridge like the ones in a pharmacy, whereas Pfizer and Moderna's has to be stored in a freezer. Well, Pfizer has to be stored in a freezer. And Moderna can be stored into a fridge for up to, no wait, and yeah, it can be stored to the fridge for up to 30 days and excuse me, and then has to be stuck in a freezer after that to preserve it. In the United States, we reported 142,732 new cases of COVID-19 with 921 fatalities on Sunday. As we know, as our, our new cases are fluctuating and our fatalities are fluctuating. Hopefully they start to fluctuate down. And if they don't, hopefully the Republicans will start to fluctuate their stimulus package up to meet the current $3.4 trillion Heroes Act, which would be amazing if they passed it because there's a lot of stuff in that that will help out a lot of American people, whether it be essential workers, the unemployed, paycheck protection money, as well as other small and medium businesses. And hopefully we can get that passed instead of a ski bill, which will do exactly nothing for the people. But until next time, this is and always will be the People Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update. Until next time, you guys have a magnificent night. Have a excellent Monday, and I will broadcast again to you guys tomorrow. Bye. <music>